Now, when we look at taking massive action to gain traction, another area we have to be very cognizant of is our health, mental, emotional, psychological, physical. When we are working towards the primary aims, goals, and objectives in our lives to accomplish and achieve beyond being subjective in a world that attempts to enslave you on every possible level within your being. You must be cognizant that you must take care of your health. You must eat right. You must drink clean water. You must bathe in clean water. You must eat the best, highest quality foods. You must exercise and you must protect yourself from disease, from germs, from bodily harm, regardless of where it might come from. You must protect your mind. You must protect your ethics, your morale, etc. You must protect it. And I'm saying this because it is that body that you have and the mind contained partially in that body that helps develop the ideas and move forward <clears throat> which will be tasked to take you from point a to z in obtaining in attaining your objective or your primary aims or your goals so you have to take care of that body it will go through some challenging periods and to make sure you get there you must take care of your body you must take care of your health you must have a sanctuary that you come to that nurtures and supports your objectives and your goals. If you are in an environment or around people that does not support you, that does not support your ideas, your primary goals, your aims in this life, and they create stress, they serve no purpose except that which brings you downward then it is your responsibility to remove yourself from that environment. Because if you attempt to pursue your goals while in such an environment, you can expect many cracks throughout the foundation of the work that you're doing to achieve your objectives. As long as you're around people who do not support you, who gives you stress, who doubt everything that you present to them, if you present anything to them at all. But overall, they simply do not support you and the environment is not conducive for your growth and your greater accomplishments. Even when you think you're gaining traction by staying in that environment and you're moving ahead just the same, cracks will show up throughout the process of action, traction, subtraction, and attraction. Cracks will show up throughout that process which means you're not doing it properly or you're not able to give your all <clears throat> to achieving this because you were not in an environment that was conducive and nurturing and supportive of your efforts, your initiatives. This is critical. And I bring this to you because I know this with a fact that you will be challenged. Your brain will be challenged. Your body will be challenged. Your patience will be talent, challenged. Your intellect will be challenged. Your fortitude will be challenged. Your will will be challenged. Everything about you that you contain, your attributes, your qualities, your strengths will be challenged. But now let's look at the other side of that equation. What if you were in an environment, even if it's just a room, a room that gives you peace of mind, where the stress is removed, an environment that you create that is nurturing, that allows you to be able to what? Support your endeavors. And by not having the stress in the negative environment, you can think clear, which means you can achieve more. You will come up with more and more ideas as the heart and the mind distill and purify the original idea. So you cannot allow yourself to be around negative people or a negative environment that takes away or disrupt 
your progress in the action, traction, subtraction, attraction objective and state or should I say the formula, the master formula. You cannot allow anyone to disrupt that. Now, you will have some lonely days. Yes, you will have some very lonely days, but that is what is required. You must need to achieve your goal more than you need to have companionship. 